And this video shout out is coming from Twitter. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. So guys, we did it! We reached a quarter of a million subscribers! I'm sorry for that abomination of an intro, but honestly, thank you guys so much for 250,000 subscribers, for real. I am so appreciative, and I actually have no idea how we've been growing so fast recently. Also, in today's video, we have so much going on. We plant some melons, we find the elytra, we build some elytra launchers, and so much more. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that button, and I hope you enjoy today's video. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And here, I'm joined by my good friend, Jeff. What should we do today, Jeff? My name is Jeff. That's a great idea. So what I actually wanted to do at the start of this episode, which I want to start doing at the start of every episode, actually, because I want to see how, where it takes us. I actually want to make a start to a giant watermelon farm today. So let me return home on my trusty steed, Horsey. Alrighty, so we've returned home. Stay there, Horsey. Cool, now let's see how many melons or melon seeds we have in here. It's probably not much, to be honest. I've not farmed many melons in this world yet. But that's all about to change. All right, and I think I know just the spot that we can do this. Yeah, this, this plane will work well, I think. Where should we start? I want to start a, I guess, a row of melons that is 100 melons long. Six. So it's actually only 86 blocks long currently. That's fine. That can all be changed. 9, 10, 14. Another melon. Another melon. We're only three melons away from having a hundred melons. That's it. This right here is just the beginning. Every episode, I'm going to add 100 more melons to this farm until this is, yet again, the biggest melon farm you've ever seen. All right, so what today is really about is uh, going to the end cities and hopefully finding an elytra. Actually, definitely finding an elytra. This this video will not end without me finding an elytra. So that's today's goal. And that's going to require me to go all the way back to our end portal. So I will just skip to that now. All right, and we are back in our stronghold. And here we are. Yeah, let's hop in. This is why I hate fire aspect, man. It's enough of killing Enderman. Time for us to make our way through this portal over here. Just need to take extra safety precautions. You just, you never know what could happen. Don't want to fall into the void, do we? So now this is obviously one of the largest risks we're going to have with dying, probably for the rest of this, uh, this game here. So hopefully we do not fall into the void. Huh? Wait, what just happened? Why am I still here? Did I do something wrong? Okay, I got the achievement. We got the achievement, but it did not teleport us out. What is this? What just happened? Okay, well, it worked that time. I don't know what, what just went on. I don't know why that didn't work, but we're, we're here now. And that's what matters. Now we have to just go find an end thing. And I see one over there. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That that ship there, that's where you get the elytra, isn't it? Yes. That's literally it. I'm fairly certain that's it. That's where we need to be. Okay, please no enderman. Knock me off this, please. I'm so nervous. I don't even know why. Yeah, I'm so certain that's it there. We just need to go to that, that like ship thing and we get the elytra. Okay, this is all safe, right? Dude, I hope I'm not wrong about this. If I'm not, I'm so lucky. All right, it's time to take on our very first end city. What up, boys? What are we, what are we saying? I hate this bit. I hate these stupid staircases. Oh, I should have brought buckets of water with me. Uh oh, that was my first mistake. We're safe over here. Oh, lovely. There is literally nothing up here. Right, let's go into this tower now. Oh. 
To be honest, this is kind of easy. I don't even mind. You can make me float as much as you want. Right, let's see what loot have we got in this chest. Oh, two diamond chest plates. That's a sick diamond chest plate too. What the hell? Am I a pussy for going up this way? Absolutely. But am I being safe? Absolutely. Y'all need to chill. Let's relax here for a second. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many. Hit me. I'm gonna go up, please. Yes. That's good. We're going into this this building. Oh, this is intense. All right, so we've come to up to the top of this tower. And what for? What's up here? Nothing. Oh, I just... They keep setting me on fire. Okay, well, it's kind of better, actually. Okay, I'm up here now. I feel much, much safer. Ooh. Damn, there's some sick pants. All right, we need to make our way down safely. What the hell? How did it jump towards me? So, after all this time spent exploring this end city, it was finally time to get to the most important part of this video, and that is finding the elytra. There we go, all right. I think the coast is pretty clear. Should be able to go across here now. Oh, there's one up there. Leave me alone. The coast seems clear. Get me in, get me in. We're in. Where is it? Where is it? Yes! We did it. We did it. We have... Hang on. We have... There we go. The Elytra. We have the Elytra. Of course, I cannot forget this time around. I need to get me that dragon head. Nice. All right, now we can take our very first fly with our Elytra. Does it does it work fine? Okay, it's working fine. Right, let's just go over there. Oh, yes. I've missed my Elytra so much. Yes. Oh, we have it. Now we just need to make it back home safely. Please work, please. 2,000 years later. Wait. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Spawn is right on the edge, too. We were almost in the void. Let's hop in our portal and let's get right back. Wait, what the hell? How'd this trident guy get on land? Please, give me a trident. Please? No, that's definitely something we're yet to do. We still really need to get our own trident. All right, so I'm back home and first things first, I need to add to my amazing pillar here. We now have the dragon egg and the dragon head. What more could you ask for? We got some pretty valuable stuff in here. All right, but something I found on the way home was actually this music disc, which I, I thought, you know what? That's something we're missing. Why don't we make a music jukebox in the corner here? Uh. Yeah. Hey. The vibes in here have just gone up. Hey, let me get a face cam in here. So as the owner of a new pair of Elytra wings, it would be irresponsible of me to let these go to waste. So I'm here to put a mending book on them, as well as I'm breaking three. All right, here it is. I'm breaking three and mending. Wadzi's wings. Nice. Now let's kill a few zombies and they've been repaired. Perfect. All right, and of course, the first thing we got to do now that we have the Elytra, the Wadzi wings, is we need to make a bunch of fireworks. And of course, as we all know, I think that's how we do it. Yeah, that's how you make fireworks. Wow, cool. It's so satisfying. I love this so much. Wow, our bee farm looks so dope from up here. All right, let's see if we can't fly out to the stronghold. Let's see how long that takes. All right, and just below us right now, just down there is our stronghold. I didn't take long at all. I'm so glad we have this Elytra back because it's going to make traveling so much easier. Home sweet home. I then went on to do a lot of extensive research to see if Elytra launches still worked in the latest snapshot. And they do. I won't show you exactly how I made them, but I will say huge shout out to Fox team with the tutorial. There will be a link to their video down below. All right, I will however show you guys this bit because this is the most satisfying part of all. Nice. All right, I believe this is fully done, fully functional now. I hope I didn't stuff anything up. This is gonna be our first flight on the Elytra launcher. 
Oh, and it works just perfectly. Oh, wow. This will easily get us over to our village. Look at that. We're already here. And we can turn around and go all the way back too, I bet. Dude, if you ever get an elytra, you need to make these things. They are so worth it. So worth it. Um, so this is just the first one I've made. I'm planning to make actually three of these today um, at all the major points in our world at the moment. So of course, there's one here. I'm going to go make one over at our villages. I even think I'm going to go make one over at our stronghold. But yeah, I'll, I'll be back once I've made all those. All right, and elytra launcher number two is now finished. Let's give this one a test run. I'm pretty sure I did this right though. Perfect. So we are flying faster than we can load in chunks at the moment, but that's that's all right. Uh, only one more left for us to make. All right, this is very exciting because this is our third Elytra launcher done. Um, this one is over our stronghold, which is well down there in the ocean somewhere. I'm glad we've got this all finished now because this should allow us to fly well literally anywhere we need to go. That's important at the moment. Yeah, let me demonstrate. I'll be home before it even loads in. Okay, literally nothing is loading in. I'm a, I'm a little terrified. Oh, it's not that it wasn't loading in. It's that I flew so high. I don't even know if I'm facing the right way anymore. Where am I? Right, for real, where am I? I actually have no idea where I am. Oh, what a, what a disaster. I need to go back and figure out where my coordinates to home are and make my way home. All right, I should mention I did make it back home safely, which is good, which is definitely very good. All right, and I think as the final thing for this episode, which is long overdue, we'll do a bit of building and we'll build Horsey a house or a stable or something. That is the plan. How big should we make it? I have no idea. I think we should make it fairly big as to give room for possibly more horses in the future. Maybe some friends for Horsey. All right, and just like that, we've got the perfect space to have two separate little stables. We can have horsey, and in the future, we can have another horse. All right, now it's time to get some dark oak stairs in here as the roof. What the hell are you doing up here? Nah, I'm not having this. Get off, get off. All right, and that's our roof pretty much finished. And that's another creeper down there. All right, and just like that, I think our barn is pretty much done. We do have to make it functional though, so we do need to add some fencing to it. That is looking pretty sweet. All right, and one final thing I wanna do, which I'm not sure how relevant this is to actual horse stables. I feel like it won't be relevant at all, but I wanted to change up the floor a bit. So I'm gonna make it gravel and andesite. I feel like that's a cool, cool texture. Adds a cool texture to it. And that's our stable. Let's go get horsey and see how he likes his new home. Perfect. Oh, there is one more thing I can add to it. One more thing. Okay, horsey. Okay. This is for your water. And this is... This is your food. Hopefully you're very happy in there. All right, sick. The stable is finished. And with that, we'll end the episode. Thank you so much for watching this video right until the end. I really enjoyed doing a little bit of building at the end of this video, and I think it's something I'm gonna start doing a lot more of in this series. So if there's anything you think I should build, make sure to let me know with a comment down below. And of course, if you aren't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are well on our way to 300,000 subscribers. And that's it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers. What was that? You've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore? Well, why not head over to my second channel, Wad Tui, where I post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just self-promoting, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.